Well, today I'm messing around with old Mercedes distributors. You see an assortment here on my bench from the late 50s to the early 1970s. All of these distributors have points. And you people who've been around old cars know how troublesome distributor points can be when they get pitted and corroded or when you let a car sit and suddenly it won't start. So I've often said, and I'll say it again, the best upgrade you can make on your older Mercedes-Benz gas engine car is convert the points to an electronic ignition. Just get rid of the points altogether. I've done that to all my cars. I've done that to Happier, my 280SL and my 280SE Ponton sedan that you see here. And they run great. They, I can leave them parked for three months. I don't have to worry about points corroding. They get in, they fire right up, they get better fuel economy, they smoke less. So <laughs> I'm a real fan of electronic ignition upgrades on these older Mercedes. What I'm trying to do is show people what distributors will work with our conversion kit. I get a lot of emails saying, well, I have a such and such car. Or I have this car. Will this conversion work on this or that? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, it'll work on almost every four cylinder from 1959 to 1972 and every six cylinder in the same period that has points like that you see here. <laughs> I'm going to pull this rotor off. But I want to show you in this video the key thing that you have to be concerned about. And that is whether this part right here is going to fit the distributor. Well, this little plastic black disc is called the shutter. And if you notice, this particular shutter has six cutouts for a six cylinder engine. And this shutter has four cutouts. That would be applicable to a four cylinder engine. Right off the bat is you have to make sure that the shutter is going to fit on the distributor point camshaft right here. This camshaft that opens and closes the points. The shutter must go onto that cam and must push down tight like this. It must not rock or move and it shouldn't be able to come off. And then when you put the rotor on, the rotor should come all the way down to the bottom point. It shouldn't hold the rotor up because if it holds the rotor up, that can create a problem inside the distributor cap. So in this case, this distributor is going to work fine. See that? You're going to have to take and remove the points, remove the condenser, get the shutter mounted onto this points camshaft. Now let's take a look at how wide or the measurement on this. So if you have a distributor and you want to check, I'm going to use a caliper here in millimeters and I'm going to go right in and measure the width on the flat spots. And you can see that's like 15.87 millimeters. So if you have a distributor with a camshaft that has that measurement, my kit's going to work. Okay, you don't have to ask any more. Um, there's all kinds of ways you can mount the other key component. Now, the other key component is called the optical trigger. And that's what the optical trigger looks like. There are a couple of different brackets in the kit that allow you to mount this in the place of the points. So in layman's terms, this is what happens. The shutter rotates by the optical trigger and every time the opening passes through the optical trigger, the distributor is going to fire. Okay, that's how it works. So the important thing is to make sure you can get the shutter mounted properly and the optical trigger mounted properly. If you can, this system is going to work in almost any old distributor. Other distributors other than Mercedes-Benz, but I'm focusing on old Mercedes distributors here. The kit comes with complete instructions from the manufacturer and then I have additional instructions specific to older Mercedes four and six cylinder engines. Now let me explain something I'm working on today and that's one of the reasons why I've got all these distributors out here. This one here I've wanted to work on probably for the last 15 years and just haven't had the time to deal with it. But a lot of people have asked me, Kent, will this work in the V8, the early 3.5 and 4.5 V8s? And I, I'd have to tell them, I'm sorry, I don't know. I, I don't think it will because I don't think the uh, shutter is going to work properly. 
But I have two 300 SEL 4.5s in my shop here, and so it's time to deal with getting the conversion working on a V8 because one of the 300 SEL 4.5s would not start after it sat for about a week. You know, we pulled it out of long storage, but it was the points. I had to get in there and file the points, and you know if you file and sand points, that's probably good for a while, but it's gonna come back and haunt you again. This one has a bad pit in it, very typical, and of course it's not even seating properly, so I wanna get rid of the points on both these 4.5. So we're talking about the W108 and the W109 with those early V8s and also the R107 that had the 3.5 V8. You'll know right away, if you've got a 1973 or, or newer, you may have factory electronic ignition, but I'm talking about the early V8s, the ones that had points. So if you're not sure, just pull the distributor cap off. If you have points and you know this is the distributor I'm talking about. So the only shutter in the kit that will even come close to fitting on the cam on this V8 distributor is this one right here. But watch what happens when I put it on the cam. Well, you say that fits pretty good, but watch this. Look at it rock, and it just pops off. So do you think that's going to work? Some poor soul is going to put that in. He's going to mount the trigger points. He's going to be going down the road, and all of a sudden the car is going to quit because this thing's just going to spin off and fall off. So this is kind of typical of the things I deal with in the shop every week here. You know, it's taking a problem and trying to find a solution. So if I don't get this mounted properly, the other problem is it doesn't fit on the cam, so it's crooked. And you can see here that if it's rotating like that, it's going to hit one of the sides of the trigger point. And that's not going to work right either. So the challenge here is to get this shutter to sit down tight on the camshaft, not rock, and not come off while the engine's running. So now I can put the rotor on, and notice the rotor comes and bottoms out right there. See that, it bottoms out on the top of that shaft. So that doesn't help hold this on. Look, it can still pop around and move around like this. So just shoving the rotor on isn't going to solve the problem. So I got looking at this and I said, well, what I've got to do is I've got to come up with a way to get something underneath the rotor that will hold this down tight, all right? <laughs> and so after working on this, you know, running around the shop trying to find different things that might work, I came up with the idea of first putting an O-ring on it because an O-ring will fit down in this groove like this. Now that makes the rotor tight, but then I'm gonna to have to come up with a washer, and I found this washer actually with a seal ring on it, and I push this washer down, and look at that. Now it holds it down tight, and it rotates evenly. So I think I'm getting close. It's not gonna come off, and it's not gonna rock, but the problem is now, when I put this rotor on, the rotor is not coming all the way down and seating on the bottom of the shaft so it's pushed the rotor up about a sixteenth of an inch. So that means I'm going to have to take and shave a little bit of material off the bottom of this rotor. So you can see all the rigmarole I'm going through to try to make this kit work for these early V8s, but I think I'm getting close. And if you're watching this video, it's not going to be available right away for the V8s because I've got to get this in one of my 4.5s and test it before I offer this particular upgrade for sale on my website. So just check the description below the video. I will announce as soon as I know this is gonna work for the early 3.5 and 4.5 V8s. If you're pondering whether or not you wanna make this conversion on your old Mercedes, I want to encourage you to consider this. There are three really good reasons why you want to make this conversion. Number one, I said it earlier, you get rid of the troublesome points. You don't have to constantly be adjusting points and dwell and all that stuff, and you don't have problems with the points getting corroded over time. And number two is a really good one for you purists because you're not really modifying the distributor and hurting it in any way from the original. So if you have to go back to original because you're taking your car to a car show, you can put the points back on and you can put it right back to original. 
There's nothing you're doing to the distributor, the rotor, or the cap. In fact, you have to have the original cap and rotor to make this work, and I would recommend buying new ones when you make this conversion, but you don't have to do anything that would hurt the originality of the car if you want to go back to points. And here's another one, the final one, that a lot of people don't think about, but if you have a distributor like this one that has shaft play, I don't know if you can see this, this has about yeah, a little over a 30 seconds of an inch shaft play. And if you have shaft play like that, and you're using the original points, they're not going to work very well because your dwell is going to be jumping all over the place because the shaft play cannot give you a consistent opening on those points. But if you have shaft play like this, I'm not talking about a quarter inch of shaft play, but if you have minor shaft play and install the shutter and the optical trigger, that shaft play is not going to affect performance. So it means literally you don't have to rebuild your distributor if you're going to make the conversion to my electronic ignition system. So those are the three key reasons. So don't be afraid to consider this. And it's something you can do yourself. You know, you can pull your car into the garage on a Saturday afternoon. And by that evening, you'll be cruising down the road with a big smile on your face.